What's going on guys, it's your boy Zip Tim back with another video and in this video I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to install ELS. Now I know I have previous videos on the channel on how to do this but obviously I want to bring a more updated video because everything changes as it goes. Now I just want to make a few things clear because there's a few things that I guess I failed to mention on the other videos. Um, one being that my game copy is from Steam, it is not from Rockstar Launcher so if you bought your game from Rockstar Launcher um, I will have a link in the description on how to downgrade if you are on the Rockstar Launcher. And most of the things should still be the same. It's just a little bit different on how you downgrade. So you guys got to make sure you do it that way. Now, if you guys are already past that point, you guys don't have issues with that, then you guys are good to move on to this step. Now, this is going to be your lighting system for all your police cars. So any modded police cars you got, any, like, any sort of modded police car, anything like that this will be the system you'll need if you're using ELS. Um, if the mod, I mean, uses ELS. So first thing you guys want to do is go to the link in the description. And you guys want to go ahead and get ELS 8.51 and go ahead and extract it. Now, I do want to make it clear also that if you guys are having errors with the game launching, which I know there's a bunch of comments with that, um, I'm actually going to do you guys a favor and I'm going to show you guys my files. Now... If you guys look at my files and you guys notice anything that's missing, then that's probably the problem right off rip. Um, but a lot of the thing is, is I'm on Steam and a lot of people are on Rockstar Launcher and I just failed to mention that. So yeah, now I'm mentioning it. So if you guys are, are on Rockstar Launcher, you guys cannot downgrade the way that I've showed in the video. So you guys will it'll have black screens, it won't launch. Yeah, so first thing you guys want to do, extract the ELS, go ahead and open up this file. You guys will have installation files. Go ahead and open that. You guys will have a Grand Theft Auto IV. Go ahead and open that. And as you guys will see, you guys will have a list of files. First thing you guys want to do is open the ELS right here and scroll on down to where you guys see multiplayer, a AI, ELS, single player, and multiplayer. Go ahead and turn that to off and turn this to off as well. And then hit save. And then once you guys are done there, you guys want to go ahead and open your guys' GTA. And as you guys can notice, Steam, Steam app's common. Um, if you guys don't see that up there, you guys are most likely Rockstar Launcher. So, uh, yeah. What you guys want to do is copy and paste. Replace with the destination. And as you guys will see, you guys will now have ELS installed. And you guys can go in here and change up the what buttons, turn on what, all that. I believe J, H, and K are how you guys control all the lights. Um, and I think H is your horn. I think K is your siren, and J is all your lighting. Um, but yeah, so if you guys did enjoy the video, and this guy, if this video did help you guys, make sure you guys like and subscribe. We are almost to a thousand. My goal is to hit a thousand by at least mid twenty twenty four to twenty twenty five. But yeah, so if you guys aren't already in the Discord and you guys do need help. Um, you guys can go ahead and make your way to the description and join the Discord. And once you guys do join the Discord, you guys will have this verification process. You literally, it's real simple. You just hit verify. The reason I have this is to prevent people from um, essentially joining the server and not being verified, spamming the server, all that type of stuff. So this prevents all that. You guys will just hit verify. I'm already verified, but it will bring a little link. You guys click that, and you hold a button that says verify, and it verifies you. Um, and then once you guys get that, all these will open up for you. And then you can go into support ticket, and you guys can create a ticket right here. And then, obviously, once you guys create a ticket, I'll show you. I'll obviously, put a ticket up here, which then you guys and me or whoever helping you guys will be able to comment and reply back to you guys. And yeah, it's just a private messaging thing. It doesn't spam everybody else. Nobody else knows about everything. So any files you guys have to send over, we transfer between each other or private, all that type of good things. I can also, if I close it, I can also transcript it. So if um, there's a problem with the ticket, uh, I can actually go in here and review the ticket myself and see, I guess, what went wrong or what got said or whatever the case is. Um, but yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys want to see more videos like this, 
make sure you guys like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace